On a personal level, I, I've always believed that charities uh, of this sort should be a hand up and not a hand out. And I believe HFH really personifies that. The families are good families, they're working hard, they're trying to make it. And they have to put in their own elbow grease, but they need that hand up to become a productive part of society. And I also am a strong believer in helping support your community in the way in the area, geographic area you are in, and I think that works beautifully as well across EFC, and it's something I personally believe in as well. Um, I think that it's a perfect fit for EFC uh, members. It obviously makes very makes a lot of sense. We are working in that industry. Why not give back to that initiative? And in every single home, there's about two thousand dollars worth of electrical products that are required. All of our members can supply every electrical need that is required by Habitat for Humanity. Members have always been involved in terms of different, uh, different charities and giving back and uh, about a year ago through the, uh, the board the decision was made to, uh, to uh, switch lanes and, uh, and uh, choose Habitat as the uh, charity of choice. I think it engages more members so we've branded it Power to Build and under that framework it's going to allow members to easily get involved. We're going to have a process set up with Habitat so they can easily donate product, um, cash, um, engage their staff and volunteer um, opportunities. Uh, Jimmy and Rosalind Carter have been committed to Habitat for Humanity for a number of years. And Habitat has a big initiative um, called the Carter Project where former President Jimmy Carter picks a country and this year he's picked Canada. He will be, uh, he will be uh, here in June and I believe Habitat for Humanity is going to be building 275 homes across Canada during, its, uh, during Canada's anniversary. So when the committee met we put an objective of 20% cash and 80% product. We set some targets, a two-year target, and it's $100,000 cash and $400,000 product each year. The cash component is very important because even though we can provide the product, you need cash to build, to buy land. You have to buy the plots. It's a very difficult thing for Habitat for Humanity. Habitat uh, has restores across the country, and if you have any obsolete inventory, uh, then and, and, and you're looking to throw it away, instead of throwing it away, Habitat would be happy to take what's usable and put those into homes. So existing members that already have programs, we don't want to have any effect. If they want some help or some build up in their different area, we will add to it. We will, of course, put it together. But what we're really looking at is new funds for new builds in Canada. And what we'd love to hear from our members are, have you supported them in product? Have you supported them in a home build? Attended one of their, uh, their working sessions? Have you donated cash at the local level? Because we'd like to tell the industry about it and, um, and put it within our entire Power to Build program to share what a great place the electrical industry is for corporate social responsibility. And there's lots of opportunities for Habitat to do some really good and powerful things that, uh, that goes way beyond the companies it goes to the employees of our companies. Absolutely, I'm going to be participating on a build site for sure. Definitely I would like to avoid the drywalling. It's not good for my hair. I'm going to be trying to drag a few of my colleagues uh, with me and I'm sure that they're going to be pretty excited. And I think it will be a great day for us to uh, also, it'll be a little bit of a team building, um, but also it'll be a lot of fun to do something maybe we haven't done before. By, by partnering with Habitat, EFC is taking a hands-on uh, active approach to improving Canadian communities. Um, that's, that's what this is. It's giving back to our communities.